What's up guys, Alex and Olena here, and right now we are in amazing Bucharest, Romania. In this video, we show you some popular eateries so that you don't have to go waste time wondering where to eat when visiting Bucharest. First stop, Ciaru Ciubera. Originally opened as a brewery in 1879, it was eventually converted to a restaurant and began operations in 1899. It is famous for not only its offering of traditional Romanian dishes, but also for its intricate wood architecture and stained glass windows. The building itself is classified as a historical monument. Do not listen to all the naysayers who label this place as a tourist trap. Yeah, it attracts tourists, but that does not take anything away from its charm, authenticity, and delicious food. The interior alone makes for an experience on its own. Be sure to make reservations directly on their website at least two weeks in advance, as this place is almost always fully booked. We suggest sitting on either balcony or in either of the main dining rooms. Stay away from the basement wine cellar as you'll be isolated away from all the entertainment. You'll also find a gift shop on site if you feel the need to bring back a piece of Chaduchu Bede back home. Chadu Chubeta offers all your traditional Romanian dishes like michi and sarmala, but also carries a wide assortment of steaks, both local and imported. Cheers. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's smooth. It's nice and smooth. It's not heavy. It's kind of like a like their version of like a, a a Bud Light or something. To me, it's like it's not like super. Uh, what do you call that? Uh, IPA. It's not an IPA. Yeah, it doesn't have that like that weedy weedy taste to it. Hoppy taste. It's good. First beer that I've had in Romania. Romanian cheese platter. It's actually more than I expected. You know, they usually put just like uh, five pieces of cheese or six pieces of cheese, but that's not bad, fair amount. Just a lot of cheese, so we're gonna be super full. <laughs> you wanna try? Yeah. Also, we get some fresh baked baguette for this in house made. Try this one first with an onion and a tomato. That's a strong cheese. Is it smoky? Yeah. There's still some smoky and tuna. This one's really smoky, but it's good. It doesn't have too much of a funky taste, like a like a smelly deep taste. <laughs> it's, it's like it's smoky. It's just really smoky. Um, this one. Try that one. This okay. one looks like more aged. And piece of bread. Is that smoky also or not? No, this is have a little bit sweet. Um, the feet, flavor. the smelly feet. But I think this is the aged one. Oh, it's the more aged mm -hmm. cheese. Okay, okay. It's all kind of like parmesan. Okay, we'll try all these cheeses right now, and then we'll come back and tell you which one's the best, which one's our favorites. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm gonna have to say my favorite one is this one here, which is like just kind of like a mozzarella, plain mozzarella. Second best is smoke. 
the smoked one, and then the third one is the one that's like has the strongest taste, and it's and it has a little bit of that funky taste. And the, my least favorite is the salty mozzarella one. Oh, it's so, funny! It's my favorite. I should have known. During your meal, you'll also be treated to a show of traditional Romanian dancing. You'll need to be sure to come in with an appetite because depending on what you get, the portions can be massive. This is mushroom stew with polenta. Mushroom, mushroom stew with polenta. Yeah, this is like, I decided to try vegetarian menu. You see how vegetarian food is in uh, Romania like? Alright, try it out. It's actually smell really good. Yeah, it does smell good. Yeah. It's like a wood mushroom. Is it flavorful? Yeah, it's flavorful. I miss some veal on the top. It's like Carpathian mushrooms, you know? Is that what people like It's multiple be? different kinds of mushrooms, not just one, right? Yeah. How's the polenta? Like, doesn't taste like it. <laughs> tastes like polenta. But this is good. I think if with the soup, with the stew, with the polenta. You mix it and it's yeah. kind of like rice with curry. Yeah. Alright. Good old pork knuckle. Oh yeah, let me just let me break off a piece of this like uh, crispy skin here. You know what? I'm just gonna grab this. Crispy skin. That's so good. Fatty, crispy, some salty, gooey. This is really good stuff. I rec highly recommend getting pork knuckle when you're here in Romania. Like I sucked it into my throat, I almost coughed. <laughs> but it's not, it's like a little bit of a, it's like a dark chocolate, like a bitter cho uh, taste. It's not super sweet. It's good, I like it. By local standards, Jaruchu Bede would be considered expensive, but in our opinion, it was well worth it for the food and ambiance. Back home in the US, something comparable would easily be twice as much. And we can't forget to mention the amazing view you'll get from the outside patio. 
If you're in the mood for something quick and cheap, look no further than Cartofisari, Romania's version of fast food that you'll find all over the country. combination plate from Cartofisari fast food and I got to choose two sauces one was the samurai sauce and the other one was the um, ketchup curry cur curry ketchup yep let's see what's inside of this sucker oh it deflated when she was putting him in there it was all full mm -hmm. but so it looks like there's some ravioli fried, fried ravioli. raviolis uh, mozzarella sticks some like I think these are like chicken nuggets or something and then she threw in a couple of these like sausages, sausages deep fried sausages and uh and a bunch of fries so try out some fries these are fresh oh these are like steak fries I like them all right I'm gonna try the ravioli Nothing special, just what? like cheese, like a bunch of cheese in there, but... Cheese bread and the uh, breading. I'm trying nugget. Oh, nugget's actually pretty good. It's like white meat nugget. Mm -hmm. Finally, I'll try the sausage. It's good, it's like a chorizo sauce, sausage. It's, I think that's a, a traditional Romanian sausage, right? So Yeah, probably. It's not bad. I paid, what, 30, 33 for all this lay. So it's about six, six dollars and 50 cents, maybe. Mm -hmm. Good. What would you recommend if people are going to decide to buy one of them? Just one flavor? Just the sausage? Sausage and fries? I would probably go with the nuggets. Oh, wait, I didn't try this. this is the cheese stick. Mm-hmm. I would go with the nuggets. Mm -hmm. That's a wrap? That's a wrap. Here we have the Gelateria La Romana in Old Town, where you can find a wide assortment of ice cream flavors. It's almost like like a mashed up like mango <laughs> more than ice cream it's like mashed so it has a really kind of a creamy flavor creamy texture this is the strawberry good also but like I said they're like real creamy mm -hmm. um, it's almost like a, a combination of cream and ice cream but not mm -hmm. complete ice cream 
So it's it's different. It's, it's good though. Gelato. All right. And as always, there is no shortage of bakeries selling pastries both sweet and salty that are extremely inexpensive. For our final dinner in Bucharest, we chose the Taverna Kovaci in Old Town. Different than most of the commercialized foreign-owned restaurants and bars that saturate Old Town, Taverna Kovaci offers traditional Romanian cuisine in a rustic old-school Romanian setting. The menu is somewhat similar to Charuchu Bere, without the extravagant steak selection, at much more affordable prices. I think we got like one of these grilled platters last night. Yeah, something like putu. And it was still too much food, I remember. Mm -hmm. All right, Palin what is it? Palinka? This is Palinka, yeah. This is about the um, the most fire, fire proof or whatever. It's the hot, hot uh, the most alcoholic one? Yeah, it's 50% of alcohol, so let's and There's see. a lot in there, too. Yeah, it's more than 50 milligrams, to be honest. And um, let's see if I'm gonna survive it. All right. I definitely think I'm gonna be able to finish it. Was it pretty, pretty damn strong? It's like drinking fire. Gasoline. Diluted fire. <laughs> <laughs> this is the local beer. Oh, I forgot what it was called. I have to look it up again. It's just like the other one. Light lager. It's like a light lager. Drinks. It's like it's like smooth and it's like oh, it's it's pretty good. I don't. Michi or is it Michi. 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 I think this is like a mustard sauce. This is instead of uh, country fries. Instead of like fries. steak cut fries. Yeah, but I prefer this one. I, I prefer, like it. Yeah. 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 But note, I think they don't have the mashed potato and the. This is my sarmale with the giant chili and. Uh, Cabbage, yeah, polenta, and then some Piece pork. What's what's below that? Uh, this is uh, sauerkraut. Oh, it's sauerkraut. Okay. Yeah. Mustard sauce. Okay, let's cut a little piece. Juicy. It's probably mostly pork. Yeah. But I, I don't mind. Yeah. Pork is like a. That's like what they. Yeah, that's the their main, major meat in in Romania. Main mm -hmm. meat. It's definitely juicy. It's good, skinless, juicy, salty juice. Spice. Sal salty? Juice. Not really salty, they, they just spice with the spices. Local, probably like bell, uh, black pepper. Okay. Paprika and all that How's the uh, sauce? Is it like a mustard sauce? Or? Yeah, it's a, like a mustard sauce. So it's not bad. It's, oh, yeah. uh, it's mixed well with the michi. Cool. Okay, it's here we go. Way. Sarmale. Is it similar to bell pepper, what you usually make? Mm. It is and it isn't. The cabbage, because it has a kind of different flavor, the cabbage make, gives it kind of a sour taste. But the meat... And the meat is also different because it doesn't have yeah, rice in it. Yeah, it's, and it's probably mostly pork, you know, not the uh, beef. Yeah, yeah, it's pork. It's really good though, I, I like it. It's just plain, it's nothing like crazy. Mm -hmm. And then if you mix it with the polenta, because the polenta is plain. Okay. 
So this chili was in my dish. Yeah, but I'm not brave enough to bite it. Olena is though. So from let's my see. experience living in Eastern Europe, this kind of chili they burn in hot. Yeah. So let's let's see. This is not. It's not hot. Not at all. It's, it tastes like a sweet bell pepper. Oh, okay. Right. Take a bigger bite. Now it's hot. Now it's hot. Because you probably got a seed. Pretty hot. Yeah, it's hot now. So yeah, I was wrong. It's hot. <laughs> Even my voice getting lower. <laughs> Olena even got her own personal serenade. <laughs> We highly recommend Taverna Kovaci if you're ever in Bucharest. Maybe even more so than Charuchu Bere. As always, thanks for watching our video. If you found it to be helpful, be sure to hit that like button down below and please consider subscribing to our channel. Stay tuned for more videos as we continue to explore Romania.